Today we are going to take a look at the London Bridge Trading 14 liter day pack. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for checking out my reviews. Today we're gonna to take a look at the London Bridge Trading 8005 Alpha 14 liter day pack. So we're gonna jump right into this. I am going to show you my typical everyday carry, what I carry in this bag. So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna to start to peel out all the stuff in my bag and I will also go through some of the items that I'm carrying because I think you'll probably have some interest there also. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first let's go over some of the details of the bag before we get into the contents of it itself. This bag comes in a variety of different colors that's offered by London Bridge Trading. This particular color is mass gray, M-A-S gray. It's kind of a green, darker green, a little bit of hint of gray color uh, to the tone itself. The bag itself is 1.25 pounds, so it's fairly light. The size of the top pocket, so it has two exterior pockets, there are no internal pockets, is five and a half by 9.75 inches. The lower pocket is 10 by 10 and a half inches. And then you also have a Velcro patch panel here that is two and a half by 5.7 inches. Now, you also have two side pockets uh, that can be used for drinks or storing anything else in those. They are retained by an elastic band with a toggle to be able to pull those tighter or looser. You have your standard two straps. I like the fact that the straps go all the way up to the top so you don't have to worry about any load lifters. They don't terminate low so it hangs up high on your back. You have a test strap and what I really like about Again, back to the details, the details matter and gear. What I like about what London Bridge Trading includes on these packs is they also they have a strap keeper built into them. So they have a Velcro loop with that you can roll your extra strap as you pull it tighter or loosen it into it to kind of keep it retained. And they also do that on the bottoms of their their pack straps also, so they have retainers there of the of the straps so you can kind of keep those under control and they're not flopping around all over the place. The zipper pulls come as just basic. Um, it's not. It's almost like empty 550 cord that's had the strands pulled out of them. So I took and put black uh, heat shrink over those to kind of make them a little nicer to pull. Kind of wish that they came stock with that uh, that feature, but um, it's easy to do yourself and fairly inexpensive if you want to just put some heat shrink over those to help uh, you know give you a little bit better control over those those zipper pulls. Now the material appears to be almost a 500D Cordura. The website does not have the material listed on it, but I'm gonna compare that to some of my other packs and I, I think it's a 500D, at least that's what it feels like. The carry handle is just a simple loop. Now let me show you what that looks like. Very simple, simple loop on the top. Okay, um, again, the straps, easy. Um, they do have, at the bottom, they have a ability to release those straps. So if you wanna do a quick release on these straps, I guess you could tuck them away if you wanted to. Um, so you can kind of have it a little more slick. Again, just kind of details to the pack that make it easier and more user friendly. You do have uh, loops here in the pack straps where you can feed a um, hydration line down through if you wanna use this for kind of yeah, I guess day pack hiking or something along those lines, you can do that. So let's take a look inside. Um, I'll start to go through the pockets and show you what I, how I got this thing loaded out. It, uh, it holds a decent amount of gear. Again, the design is very simple, so um, it makes uh, things work a lot smoother, at least in, in my case. It doesn't give you a ton of organization, but I think it gives you just enough. Okay, so the side um, water bottle pockets, I have a uh, 32 ounce uh, clean canteen in there. On the other side, I have a little um, Joby Gorilla Pod tripod that I can use for my smartphone if I want to. And then let's get inside. Now, what you will notice on the top is um, it is not a full clamshell, so that this bag does not open fully like some of the Go Ruck packs um, that I have. That is nice. 
the ability to have that open all the way up. However, what I do like about this bag over the GORUCK bags is that it does have water bottle pockets. So in order to um, have this be a full clamshell, you'd have to eliminate those water bottle pockets, which um, you know I'm willing to take the compromise there because having the water bottle pockets makes it a little bit easier on me when I'm traveling and trying to carry some of that stuff than having to get inside the bag to fish out a water bottle. So that is a nice feature on this bag. So it is a half zip though. So you do get a decent amount of ability to look and see what you have inside the pack. And I'll just run through what I have in here. So typically I have um, some type of uh, jacket to protect me from the elements. So this is an outdoor research rain jacket. I wanna say it's like five ounces, five or six ounces. Um, and I'll leave a link to this, but I always have some type of, of jacket in there to protect me from the elements. And I like to go as light and compact as I possibly can. This outdoor research jacket is a great option if you're looking for lightweight um, rain and wind protection, which is, is great. Now, if you saw some of my other videos, you know that I'm typically traveling with a little kiddo. And so I've got some snacks in here for the kiddo. I've got some wipes for the kiddo. And I also have a bag that I carry uh, diapers and um, hand sanitizer and some bags to put those diapers in. So that's typically with me at all times, kind of on my everyday carry thrown in the car. Now for myself, I'll have um, typically some way to carry water uh, other than my clean canteen. And this uh, Katadyne Be Free is actually, uh, has a water, a water filter built into it, which is really nice. So, you know, if you are out and you need water and you're not sure of the source, this is a great option to fill up and you can kind of squeeze the water out. It actually works really well, the filter does on this. So um, I'll leave a link for this below also. It's a, it's a nice option to have and I always just have one in there. I'm kind of one of those guys that's just, uh, just in case, you know? I like to have the ability to do certain things um, with my gear just in case and it takes up very little space so I throw it in there. I usually carry uh, a handkerchief or a shema and that is, as you all know, many purposes for this. So I can use it to wipe things down. I can use it to, um, as a hat. I can use it to shield my face from dust. I can use it and lay it out to lay my little dude down if I need to change his diaper. It's just a really versatile uh, piece of gear that I usually have carrying on me in my bag to have um, along the way each day. And in the bottom of the bag, which I really probably should have it a little bit higher, but I always carry um, some type of medical equipment. This is kind of your basic set of medical equipment. I have a, um, I have a tourniquet in here. I always try to carry a tourniquet on my bag. I don't usually have one on my person, but I like to have one just in case, especially with today's day and age. You never know when you're gonna need a tourniquet, and if you need to stop the bleeding, it's the easiest and fastest way to stop it if you hit uh, you know, a major artery. So um, I have a tourniquet in here. I also have a chest seal in here. I have a, a triangle bandage. And I, then I have some field dressing in here. Again, it's not a full on blowout kit, but I like to be able to have um, something on me to treat trauma. I think I have some um, quick clot in here also. And then I also have kind of just your boo-boo kit in here. I have band-aids, I have some mole skin, I have some things along those lines, some antibiotic, triple antibiotic ointment, things along those lines just to kind of treat minor wounds. But I also can treat some of the larger ones if I have to. And this is, um, you know, those that know, know carry medical gear, carry a little, you know, first aid kit on you that you can treat um, kind of the things you're gonna run to in, into on a daily basis and, uh, and, and help keep someone alive if you need to. I also carry a, a journal and a pen with me typically. So um, just, just a simple, simple journal that I carry in case I need to write things down. So that's what's inside the bag. And you can see it still stands up flat with uh, with some stuff in the front pouches here that we'll go through in a second. But the interior has a separation um, pouch that is also um, elastic drawstring with a toggle on it. And you can put a hydration bladder in here or what I typically will do is I'll put my laptop in here. So I can carry, it looks like you can carry probably a 13 inch MacBook in here. Probably nothing bigger than that. I have an 11 inch MacBook Air that I carry in here typically and it fits perfectly in the bag and I'll just pull the drawstring on there and kind of tighten it up 
separate it from the rest of the gear in my bag. Okay, so let's go into the front pouches and show you the rest of what I'm carrying on a daily basis. So the bottom larger pouch, I will typically carry my electronics gear in there. And I hit this uh, this Bond travel gear, um, as Escapade pack on one of my other reviews. Uh, guys, if you haven't looked at this, take a look at it. It is great for organization. I carry all of my electronic equipment in this organized little pouch and it does a great job of organizing. So I would highly recommend this uh, Escapade pouch from uh, Bond Travel Gear. Uh, I don't have anything in the outside pocket. I just haven't really filled this thing up yet and it, it really works great. Um, you have some ring attachments on the back that you can you know, strap this to the outside of a pack if you needed to, um, as well as if you needed to retain it within a pack so it wasn't sliding around depending on what you're carrying. But I would really look at this. This thing fits perfectly perfect in the front pouch of this bag. So if you are looking at this bag and you're looking at carrying your electronic gear, if you want something that fits perfectly in that pouch or the front of this bag, this is the one to do it. So take a look at it. Okay, we'll get into the top pouch. And now this is where you're gonna go, man, you might be a little crazy with some of this stuff that you're carrying. Okay, I got it. But I, this again, this is my loadout. These are the things that I kind of find important on a daily basis. So I typically have a little Dyneema bag that I'll have, you know, AirPods, headphones in here. I have a lens for my iPhone in here. So I have a wide angle lens that I can attach to the case in here. And then I also have a little mini smartphone uh, tripod in here. It's very, very simple. And I'll leave, a, again, I'll leave a link to some of this stuff down in the um, in the comments section so you can take a look at it. But I'll typically carry that in a Dyneema bag. It's just easy, lightweight, keeps kind of some of my stuff separated. And then I have a you know little light on top of that that um, I can use if I need to find stuff in my bag. Okay, this is probably the gear where you're going to say, what are you carrying in your everyday carry? I carry a um, Vortec Optics uh, monocular in my bag. I, you know, it's always good to be able to see things farther away if you need to. And so I typically carry this. It doesn't weigh very much. And if you know Vortec Optic, Optics, they make great gear at a great price. And so I just like to carry this around because, you know, if I'm out and I want to look at things a little bit closer without getting up close to them, this uh, gives me a great option to do that. Um, I also carry typically a little mini Bic lighter. This is a fire starter, so I like to have the ability to start fire if I need to. Have a couple of snacks in here. So just some stuff to keep me over if I need to. I have another small um, write in the rain notebook if I needed to write in the rain material. I usually carry a $20 bill on me for emergencies in case I need to catch a taxi cab or something along those lines and I'm having issues with credit cards. And I carry a small E and E kit, so very small, just kind of the essentials for E and E. And then I carry a small uh, Olight S1 baton flashlight. And again, if you're not familiar with this flashlight, wow, check it out. I'll leave a link. Maybe I'll do a review in the future. There's plenty of them out there on YouTube. But uh, this thing's tiny, puts out a ton of light, and has a rechargeable uh, CR123 battery in it. So uh, take a look at this battery. Okay, so that's the contents of the bag. Let's uh, let's wrap up this video. So guys, I know you are a pack nerd, just like me. So don't deny it. Don't deny it. I know that's what you're doing right now. You're like, I don't need another bag. Yes, you do. Yes, and you know what you one you need? Do. This one. Let me tell you why. I have spent, I guess, the last probably few years trying to figure out a good size to weight, everyday carry day pack, something I could throw in the car and keep everything I need with me at uh, arm's reach. So I went through a lot of bags, I spent a lot of money. Um, I used to carry the um, original version one GORUCK Bullet, the 10 liter. It was a little bit too small and again, it didn't have water pockets on it, but it, it is also a great bag. Um, so um, they don't make this version anymore that I have. They make a newer version that doesn't have two compartments in it. Um, that's a great bag if you wanna check that out. But um, I have found that this bag is the perfect size, gives me the perfect options for what I need, 14 liters. I think that is probably the perfect size so you don't overpack and have it too large. So take a look at this bag. Once again, 
Thank you for tuning into the channel. Thank you to all the subscribers. It has been such a short period of time and I've had so many views and I've had so many new subscribers. So I wanna thank all of you for that. So I'm very grateful for you all to uh, be watching my channel. So um, I'm trying to do some reviews on things that haven't had an in-depth review on YouTube. But again, if you're like me, you're looking at YouTube, you're watching YouTube videos. I love watching YouTube videos. I love watching gear reviews. And so um, I know there's a couple of other reviews out there on this bag. I just hadn't really seen one kind of put together the way I'm trying to put this video together. So um, guys, get out there. If you're interested in something, try it out. If you're interested in a piece of gear, try it out. If you're interested in an activity, don't be scared. Go out and do it. Do something that makes you uncomfortable once in a while. I know you all have itches that you want to scratch, whatever those may be. So get out there and scratch those itches. See you next time.